Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Raghav and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session we are going to learn all about tax in Cucumber and in case you do not know anything about tax or you have never heard about tax do not worry I'm going to go very basic step by step and we will start from scratch and by the end of this video you will know everything about tax in Cucumber. So today we are going to see what are tags, how to use tags and I will show you a practical demo and then we will discuss some useful tips. So let's get started and let us start with what are tags in Cucumber. Let us take a scenario. In our Cucumber project or a framework we can have multiple feature files and every feature file can have multiple scenarios. So we have feature file 1 built multiple scenarios and then we can have feature file 2 again with one or more scenarios and similarly we can have n number of feature files. Now let us say we have some need that I want to run some particular scenario from feature file 1. Let us say I want to execute scenario 1 as a part of a regression test or maybe a smoke test and I want to select scenario number 2 from feature file 2 and then some particular scenario from a different feature file. Now a manual way will be I will be creating a new feature file I will be only putting these scenarios in that feature file and then I will put that feature file into the test runner file and then run it or I will have to do a lot of uh, things manually which is not very efficient of course it is time consuming and not a very good way or a better way to do that. Now to do this what are the options for us? One of the best option that Cucumber has is we can actually use tags or we can tag our features or scenarios and then we can run the features or scenario based on some particular tags. So I can say scenario 1 I can tag with at smoke test or any tag I want. I use the at symbol and some text. Similarly I can tag scenario 2 and I can tag the scenario in the next feature file and then in our test runner file. I can put this particular tag so that it will run only those scenarios or features which has that particular tag. So this is what are tags and this is how we can use tags in Cucumber. In very simple words, features and scenarios can be marked with tags and then we use the at symbol followed by some text. For example, I can say at smoke test, at regression text, at important anything. So that will be a tag. And in the test runner file, we can spe specify the tags or we can run with specific tags. I will show you that in a moment. And a feature or a scenario can have multiple tags as well. For example, you can see here we have a feature which has three different tags. So you can also tag any scenario or feature with multiple tags. And we can run with a single tag or multiple tags. We can also run with a combination using and or conditions. This is again I am going to show you in the demo. And then if you want you can ignore the features or scenarios or you can skip scenarios having specific tags. This is also we are going to see. So now let us go into the demo and see how to use tags. And step number one is we can use some existing feature file or we can also create a new feature file for this demo. I am going to go to my project and here this is our Cucumber Java project or framework we have been creating and I will go to this SRC test resources and here I have the features folder where I have these feature files. Now I can use any of these feature files. I can also create a new feature file. Uh, let me create a new folder and then I will create a new feature file. And the reason I am creating a new folder here this is for documentation purposes so that later on I can reference here that these are the features with tags. So I'm going to create a new folder. I will say here folder and I will say feature with tags and say finish. And here I can add my feature files. So I can also copy any of these. Let me just see if I can copy some of these or let me just create a very simple feature file. I will go to new and I will go to other and search for file and say next and I can give the name tags.feature you can give any name here so we have got this feature file and I'm just going to create a very quick data here I will say this is feature to demo tags and then I can have a scenario I can say this is sample1 and I can give something here given 
when and and I'm I'm not giving all the statements here because this is just for demo so here I have created a very simple feature and a scenario now to run this I will go to the test runner so let us see we have done step number two now we can mark our feature and scenario with tags and before I do that uh, let me get my test runner so if I go to the SRC test Java folder and all this we have done earlier so if I go to step definitions we have this test runner dot Java now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and paste it again here with a new name so this is test runner I will say run single tags or run with single tag and again I'm doing this I'm creating separate test runner so that I can have this documented in the project now here I can tag this scenario I can say at smoke this is what is step number two I can mark the feature or scenario with tags I will say this is at smoke and then in the test runner file I can put these tags so we have already created a test runner class and in the cucumber options section I can put this tags like this so you can see here in the cucumber options we can put a tag we can put tags equals to whatever tag we want to run so that is what I'm going to do here in this test runner that I have created I will say I can just get rid of all this for now to keep it very simple I'm just going to get rid of all this and this is what I'm using from our earlier session so you can also get it from your earlier sessions and here I will just say here tags equals and in this curly brackets I will say at smoke and also now I have to provide the location of my feature file which is here inside feature with tags folder so I can just do a right click here go to properties and copy this location I can copy it from here this is what I need and this is what I will put here so this is the location of our feature file and everything else is fine so you can see I have put this statement or this option here tax equals add smoke and in our feature file I'll just close others and in our feature file we have this sample one scenario which is tagged with add smoke tag so we have done this we have done step number four now step number five is I can run and check the execution with different combination of tags as of now I have used a single tag if I go to my test runner file or test runner class I will say right click run as JUnit test and let us see the output so here uh, there is some error let me check very quickly so there is some error say it says path must exist for this particular file now okay so the issue is I should be changing the double backslash with a single forward slash works well with windows if you have a complete path but it is better to have a single forward slash which works on windows mac linux everywhere uh, let us try again I will run this again and check let us check again it says I think I do not have to give this starting slash I will again right click run as JUnit test and looks like this time it was fine so if you see here it has executed sample 1 which is what we wanted and which was tagged with add smoke test and let us say if I do not have this tag here and if I again go and run this so you can see this time nothing got executed so this is how you can run with a single tag now we have different options here so here if I look into step number five in detail I can run with a single tag which we have already seen for example I have ran with tag smoke if I want to run with multiple tags I can use and and or conditions for example if I go here in my feature and let us say I create some more scenarios I will add one more scenario and I will say this is 
sample 2 and let me tag this with regression now in my test runner file I can say at smoke or at regression so I'm running with a combination or I'm running with this condition that any feature or scenario that has either smoke or regression can get executed here so if I run this now let us see the output so if I see here it is running both sample 1 and sample 2 also if I have any feature or scenario something like I will create a new scenario and I will say this is add smoke and add regression and I will say this is sample 3 and I will again run the test runner class and check the execution so here if you see we have all these three getting executed so you can also have multiple tags on a scenario or feature file now earlier we could also do something like this I could say at smoke and then comma at regression so I could run with multiple tags like this but this is now deprecated if I try to run this let me show you if I try to run this way you will see in the console it says this is deprecated and we have to run with these conditions like or and so this is what you will be using if you are using this old way like this a comma and different tags this will not work with the latest cucumber so this is how you have to do you can use or or and and a combination of or on and 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 if I say something like this at smoke and at regression let us see what happens now if I run this now if I check the execution you can see only sample 3 has got executed or the scenario name sample 3 has got executed because this is the only scenario which has both of these tags so you can also do something like this and then uh, we have already seen or and we can also run with a combination or put this in brackets for example I can say here uh, let us say I have another scenario I will say this is scenario name is sample 4 and I tag it with a tag called important and now in the test runner class I say it should have either smoke and regression or I can say smoke or regression and I can put this into uh, I can put this put this like and at important and if I run this now let us see the output and if you see here it has executed sample 1 and 3 however if I put this into brackets smoke or regression and then add important now let us see what happens and you can see this time nothing got executed so we are saying we want to run a scenario or a feature that should have either smoke or regression and this tag important so you can see all these combinations you can use and or or a combination using brackets all this you can use and then we also have option to skip or ignore tags and I can say something like and not so for example I can say I want to run with tag at regression and not at smoke so I want to run with the tag regression and not smoke if I run this now let us see the output so if you see the execution it has executed only sample 2 if I check the feature file you can see sample 2 is the scenario which has regression and not smoke also if you have something like uh, regression and some other tag for example I will create a new scenario I will copy and paste and here I will say important and I will say add regression and I will say this is sample 5 and if I now run the test runner class you will see here we have sample 2 and sample 5 so this is how you can also ignore or skip based on tags and 
I have already shown you you can do something like this I can say add smoke or add regression in brackets and then say and not important so all these combinations you can use and this is how you can run with different combination of tags uh, to just sum up if you say add smoke it will run with a single tag you can use combinations with and or and you can also say and not to skip or to ignore any tests so this is how you can use it and this was step number five now let us look at some very useful tips now tags can be placed at all these following levels or above all these following hurricane elements you can put a tag above feature scenario scenario outline or examples and it is not possible to place tags above background or the uh, keywords or steps like given when and but then all this you cannot place tags above these elements the next tip is about tax inheritance so tags are inherited by the child elements for example if you place a tag above a feature it will be inherited by scenario scenario outline or examples of that feature for example if i go here in my feature file and just above the feature i say i tag it with some tag like must run and now if i go to my test runner and i say run with tag must run and if i run it now let us see the execution and output so you can see it has now executed all the scenarios under this particular feature because we had tagged the feature with this tag so you can also do this and tags which are placed above a scenario outline will be inherited by the examples then if we talk about execution of tags you can actually keep ready multiple test runner classes as per the combination of tags you need for example you have to uh, run different combinations of regression smoke or any tags you want to run with so instead of going and changing the tags every time in a single test runner class you can keep multiple test runner classes ready with different combination of tags as you like and then you can run a particular test runner class as you wish now a better and a more efficient way to do that or to manage execution with different combination of tags will be to run from command line and from the command line you can provide the tags or a different combination of tags now we have not yet learned how to run our cucumber tests from command line until now in this series so when i will do a session on how to run from command line i will also show you how to use tags option from command line i hope now you know everything about tags and this was very useful for you please do hands on along with me and i will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching